Between 2020 and 2023, Africa has experienced many military takeovers across different countries. However, countries like Nigeria, Liberia, and Sierra Leone have held presidential elections in 2023, drawing the attention of electoral observers, including the EU and ECOWAS, given its opinion about the electoral processes. While in other countries like Rwanda, where the president is seeking to run for a fourth term, experts are concerned about its implication and they question the practice of true democracy across the continent. In a bid to ensure the future of democracy around the world is sustained, especially in West Africa, an intergovernmental organization, International Institute for Democracy and Electoral Assistance, is on a visit to three different countries, including Nigeria. Joining me now to discuss the future of democracy in Africa is Secretary General, International Institute for Democracy and Electoral Assistance, Kevin Ikasa Zamora. Thank you for joining us on World Now, Mr. Secretary General. Talk to us about this 10 day trip to Africa. Where exactly have you been and how have interactions been so far? Thank you for having me. It's a, it's a pleasure. Uh, I'm currently in Ghana, in Accra, but I am indeed traveling to Nigeria and then to the Gambia. And this is uh, part of uh, a, an attempt to uh, showcase the, the work that the Institute has been doing in the, in the region. We work globally to support democracy in different ways. And our work in Africa in particular has been growing in leaps and bounds. And one would have to agree that is work uh, that is more needed than ever, given the trends that we are seeing with regards to democracy in Africa in general, but particularly in West Africa. Mm. Indeed, in recent time, Africa has witnessed a wave of military coups, and it's quite troubling. So what practical ways do you think uh, that democracy can actually be sustained in the continent of Africa? Look, there are no silver bullets. There are no uh, easy solutions. Uh, building democracies in the best of cases is a generation-long uh, effort. But uh, one thing that is very, very clear in the case of, of African countries is the, the, the prevalence of the salience of unmet expectations of well-being among young population. I mean, that makes for a very, a very difficult uh, situation to sustain a democracy, uh, even though you might be able to protect uh, in a reasonably adequate way civil and political rights if you don't uh, provide the same access to social and economic rights, it would always be very, very difficult and it will make for fragile democratic systems. Mm. And let's talk about this uh, project that uh, the EU, I mean, it's EU funded and that international idea is embarking on. It's to be on rule of law and anti-corruption. I think that would be in Nigeria. What modalities actually would it take? Uh, that's correct. I mean, we're taking we're taking over the second phase of a project connected to the state of the rule of law and anti-corruption efforts in in Nigeria. And what we are trying to do is to support uh, agencies uh, at the federal level, but also in seven of the states of the federation to enhance the, the performance, the quality, the oversight of the criminal justice uh, system so that justice uh, 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 services are better delivered. That for starters, but then also we're trying to, uh, to support efforts to improve access to justice for vulnerable groups like uh, women, children, persons with disabilities and victims of sexual violence. And, and last, but certainly not least, we are continuing to work on increasing transparency and accountability of anti-corruption systems and, and reforms. This was the heart of the first phase of the project, and now we're building upon mm -hmm. that work was that, that was done, mostly to 
uh, facilitate the coordination of the many different agencies that are uh, trying to curb the scourge of corruption in, in Nigeria. I wish you and your team the best as you continue in the Secretary General International Institute for Democracy and Electoral Assistance, Kevin Kasazamora. Thank you for talking to us on World Now. My pleasure.